Stored supports 99.5 of all enterprise technologies in storage, SAN, and LAN. In the area of SAN technologies, we support Brocade and Cisco equipment, including all OEM rebrands at Brocade. Visit our stored.com website in the Features tab for an overview of each device with the metrics that can be measured. For the purposes of our demo, we are using IBM technology, SVC. After our selection, we are redirected to the I.O. overview screen by default. The data in the total report is presented in individual graphs for the time period of the last day, week, four weeks, and last year. As you'll soon see, the charts are one of our most powerful components. You can use the zoom function in each of our graphs to see a more detailed view of a shorter time unit and to identify possible incidents as accurately as possible. To achieve a more detailed view of the graph, simply enlarge it by clicking on its area. The data can also be viewed separately for write, read, write on the back end, and read on the back end. We can also regroup data to display it regarding I.O., data throughput, and data response time in a single view. If you use the zoom function in this mode on one of the graphs, it will affect all others in the report. This feature is extremely useful for analyzing a situation or finding context for a given problem. Regrouping can also be used for other metrics, not just for the total overview. A very useful tool is the trend chart. For example, you can predict the future of device use and take a position or gather data for future decisions in purchase planning or of additional storage devices. You can sort the data in the tables which accompany the charts by clicking on the header of each column or by searching in the columns. Alternatively, you can filter within them. Hover your mouse between the header and the filter field as displayed in the first line. You can display data for individual entities in the chart with a simple click. For example, to display a particular item, just click the colored square next to its name. Alternatively, you can display its complete detail by clicking on the name of the given entity. Detailed grouped data for each pool can be obtained by selecting from the left panel. The same data is then collected and generated for various other logical views or breakdowns. The availability of options depends upon the selected technology, typically for volumes, ports, guests, and so on. Based on utilization, the heat map shows the use of the individual parts of the storage on average over the last hour. The heat map range is user configurable for each individual connected technology or its pools and related volumes. The mapping table shows an overview of mapped hosts and their connected volumes for all storage. Any type of graph can be pinned to the dashboard for quick access simply by clicking the star icon. The widget can be added to existing groups or other grouped entities. It's possible to display the dashboard in full screen mode without other controls by simply clicking on the full screen icon. Health status is a tool which allows you to monitor and report the status of a monitored device. A wrench icon in the menu is displayed in case of a problem with the device. The tool also detects the status for mirroring and snapshotting. Use the section Total to get a main central view of all sorted data from storages, LAN, and SAN switches. If you want to see the total aggregated data for all monitored devices, it is also possible to use the Total section where you can find summary information for storage, SAN, or LAN switches. The Capacity Dashboard is another tool for the central view, but in terms of the capacity of connected devices, it is one of the most commonly used features. It is also possible to display the capacity utilization for a single device and its pools or logic units by clicking on an item from the list. You can also display the pool capacity or view the heat map for all connected devices. In Configuration, you can see overviews of all connected devices and basic information, including SAN and LAN switches. The Volumes tab provides an overview of basic information about all volumes. In the Alerting tool, we can configure alerts for all metrics we collect from all connected devices. Now let's show you how to create a new alert. Firstly, select the area we want to create alerts for. We have a choice of storage devices, custom groups, or switches. For switches, it's worth mentioning that an alert can be defined not only on a single point, but for the entire switch as a whole. After selecting the area, we continue by selecting a specific device and then select a logical or physical part, 
which can be further distinguished into volume, pool, all pools, host, or total capacity. After adding the rule to the alert list, enter specific values to determine the criteria of the alert itself. It's also worth mentioning the parameter exclude hours, through which we can exclude it from alerting, for example, some scheduled backup processes. You can test and save the alert after setting necessary parameters. You can define alert recipients in the Email Groups tab. The Options Performance tab defines other options for sending alerts or forwarding them to third-party applications. You can automatically send HW errors depicted by our tool through the last tab in Open HW Events. All alerts are recorded in our log, where records of individual events are available for viewing, even retrospectively. Do you want to try both tools? Try them out with our demo. Do you need more information from our experts? Arrange a consultation via WebEx.